Hey guys, welcome back to Chop It Up with Charity. If you're new here, join us as we travel through food to broaden our taste buds and learn about different cultures. And as you can see, we have a special guest here with me today, my sis McKay. Hi everybody, I'm McKay. I'm her sister, we grew up together, so. Yes, and I know you guys have been waiting for this video. I have been waiting to do this video with Forever. her. Forever. Yes, it's been, been weeks. Been a while. We finally got it together, y'all. We finally we're got our schedule and we're ready to eat. I'm yes. so excited. So tell us, sis, what are we cooking today? All right, so today we are making a garlic butter crab boil. Mm -hmm. I learned this recipe from one of my closest friends, and it's actually pretty simple to make. Okay. Um, so we start off with some Cajun sausages. Yes. We got some shrimp, some crab, which yes. is shrimp. mini red potatoes, and some corn. Um, we'll throw all this together with some garlic butter, and that's not all we are making. Oh, yeah. We are also making garlic noodles. noodles. <laughs> you cannot have yes. crab oil without no. garlic noodles. I love you can, garlic. but it's always better with them. So mm -hmm. we'll throw that down for you guys too. Yeah, I'm ready to eat already. So. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. So you ready? You ready? Let's get started. So what are we gonna do first? So it's actually the most simplest thing. You just throw it all in there. Okay, let's go. Yeah. That's what you do. You just throw it let's in there. Let's do so. it. I like to make it look pretty, you know, like so the crabs are normally bigger, so I try to get those in there first. Okay. All the crab in. And everything else. All the shrimp, just dump it in? Everything. All right. And mind you, we're throwing everything in here raw. There's nothing that's cooked. Um, everything, when you put it all into the pan, you put your garlic butter in there and your seasonings and everything, it, everything will cook in the oven. So that's how I was taught. I'm not sure how other people do it, but we'll even throw these lemons in there too. Just put all that in there. Nice. Um, and just our, toss these. Got, yeah, okay. toss in there. And the last ingredient is our corn. Is that corn? Yeah, so we can place, place them. those in there too. Okay, so we threw it all in. As you can see, that's what it looks like. Like I said, it's pretty simple. You just throw all your raw ingredients in there, and the next part is the seasoning. All right. So, not even gonna lie, I don't have any measurements for you guys. <laughs> My ancestors taught me, so okay. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Start with some garlic salt. Nice. You just wanna Look make sure you season mm -hmm. all over. Next, I'm gonna put in some Creole seasoning. Definitely, you wanna put some flavor in there. Get that going. By the way, this is my sis' kitchen. This is her place. That's I wanted to come, because I was like, I love your place. I love your kitchen. Got oh, some cool. garlic and herb. We got some Cajun seasoning. Cajun seasoning. Put a little bit of that in there. Mm -hmm. Some flavor. Some lemon pepper. Mm, okay, lemon. Oh my gosh. Garlic pepper. Okay. So if you're gonna ask why there's so many garlic seasonings, because there is a lot of garlic seasonings, it is a garlic crab oil. <laughs> a little bit of onion powder. Um, we don't have very many vegetables in here, so that kind of gives it a little bit more flavor. Mm. I'll put some garlic powder. All right, and then um, I also have some parsley. I'm gonna put the parsley on kind of as a finishing touch just to give it a little bit of okay. color. A little color, but, a little decor. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty much it. Wow. You know, season. Like I said, my ancestors taught me, so that's that's <laughs> how I knew how much seasoning to put. I would assume, based on your seasoning, you probably like, would you say four tablespoons of each? So we have, we have to pull it out, y'all. Yeah, had to show y'all. Okay. Just to you some type of like mental note. But once you start cooking, then you'll start feeling with yourself too. You'll okay. feel it, you know. You'll add your own measurements. Yeah. So we would assume one eighth cup. I think that's seasoning. Yeah, should be cool. Depending on how much seafood and you know ingredients you have in right. your actual seafood boil. So right. for the amount that we have, I would say that's just about right. Perfect. So that's how we get our seafood boil. That's the basis of it. And then the next part, we gotta get our garlic butter. Yes. So garlic butter. Let's do it. water in here. Something that I 
recently learned. I also put just a little bit of oyster sauce, not too much, but just a little bit for flavor. garlic butter crab boil oh with all of our ingredients that we talked about earlier right. and then we also have our garlic noodles and we paired it also with some garlic cheese bread. So we decided that we should make this a crab boil mukbang. So we're going to catch up with you guys and let's uh, tell you guys our backstory, how we uh, met. We know each other. Also, pro tip, it's probably best to boil your potatoes while your crab boil is um, baking. Boiling, is baking. It's better to boil your potatoes a little bit before you throw them into your crab boil just because the potatoes took, take a lot longer to cook mm -hmm. than the rest of the seafood. Mm -hmm. So just boil them, I'd say about maybe 15 minutes before you throw your whole yeah. seafood, seafood boil into the oven. Okay. We're here, we have to dig in. This food looks bomb and I'm ready to try it. Yes. So before we do anything, let's eat. All right. Okay. I'm gonna start with these garlic noodles. Wow. I know we told you we were gonna tell you about how we met, but just give us a second. Yeah. Because it's like, how can we eat and talk at the same time? Mm. It's good. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm about to dig in over here because mm -hmm. I'm definitely. Okay, so we first met. I can't even remember how old I was. I had to have been in like the second grade, maybe. Either way, we were, just, we were super little. How we met originally is how I knew of her, I'll just start there, is because my mom and her mom mm -hmm. grew up together. So I've always heard stories about my aunties and I knew about my auntie Diana because obviously my mom grew up with her mom. So finally, Charity came and I seen her for the first time and I was like, oh my God. My mom and her mom had already talked and so I was just like, okay, well, that was my mom's best friend back in the day, so obviously that's her daughter. That's supposed to be my <laughs> best friend. So right, so so we were both in sports. We were both playing sports as kids, and I was really a hooper. But every Wednesdays, we used to have this thing where it was like youth night, and we would yes. go in there. And yes, always sports. It was always sports going on from basketball to volleyball. So yes, yeah. Charity was in there, and I seen her, and I, I ran up to her, and I was like. Hey, aren't you Diana's daughter? Yeah. And she goes, yeah. And I was like, well, I'm Gail's daughter. Nice to meet you. I'm like, we're friends. We're friends. <laughs> no, we're cousins. We're cousins. So ever since then, we've been like this. Yeah. Like, I was like, like, okay. <laughs> you know <laughs> how little kids you share Walk a friend. On, you're, you're just like. like <laughs> so I, I'm the um, oldest of. I have like six, seven siblings. I'm the oldest of no. Six siblings on this one of them. And she's the youngest. I'm the baby. And she has two my brothers. Three. I have, yeah, there's three of us. I yeah. Two brothers. So she's the only girl, and I'm like the oldest, so it was like I didn't relate to my younger siblings too much. And so when we got together, we were like close in age, and I was like, Shh. and I've always wanted an older sister, so. And I always it really just worked yeah. out. She wanted a little sister yeah. who listened. <laughs> Shout out, Zaya, Diana, and everybody else. Love y'all. We just had a lot in common, that's why. Yeah, we definitely did. Mm -hmm. My youngest is music. music. Yeah, music. That's what really connects us, because we used to get together every weekend, mm -hmm. and there used to be classes going on with youth. Yeah. 
Um, me and Charity used to sneak out from classes and go find a room where there was a piano in it. Yeah. Because, mind you, we were different. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're not just uh, one of the few. We're we just only... wanted to be, you know, we understood each other. Yes, I'm just going to yes. say that. We understood each other, so, and we, our love for music was just like, out of this yeah. world, and we used to sing and everything. But do you remember how we even got to the music conversation? Like, I feel like that was just like, what? We didn't just meet each other and start singing, singing. like Anna and Elsa. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> I don't know how we got there. Like, you know? Do you remember when we were at Uncle Junior's house? Yeah. And he had the keyboard. Keyboard? The keyboard that I sound every song to. Oh my gosh, there was a keyboard. Yeah, I, I oh my got so into piano when I was young, mm -hmm. and um, I was playing piano a lot. Like I was learning so many Beyonce songs, like Beethoven <laughs> songs. I don't know, I'm just bored. Cause my uncle had a keyboard. Yes. I'm thinking I was just born with the skill. You know yeah. I wrote a lot of songs on that one. Yeah. That was my high school year. I still remember some of them. Yeah. We're gonna eat. <laughs> break out in song. She <laughs> don't wanna sing it. She said we're gonna eat. <laughs> we even started a, we started a girls a group. group. We started a group with my two younger sisters. This is right. the second oldest and the third oldest. The girl group called um, Unique four. four. Unique four. I was gonna say forever four. <laughs> He's unique four. I usually why I didn't last today. The girl can't even remember the name of the girl. It's been how long? It's been so long. Do you remember so and so had us singing in the mall? Yes. So Mind you, we had our first photo shoot. We, we wore all of our clothes. We took a photo shoot. <laughs> And I guess we somehow made up our minds that our colors were purple. We had, what do you call the, the boas? We had okay, purple so boas. Remember, you know, we used we to have... layer the shirts. Y'all remember when we used to wear the, uh, the uh -huh. regular black t-shirt with the tank top underneath? Yep. With the lace? So you see the... <laughs> I don't know who told us that was okay, but we did it and we thought it was The fashion cute. was changing so much. We sat in a hometown buffet. In front of everybody. In front of everybody. We sang in the mall. In front of everybody. In front of Auntie Anne's. Pretzel place in Southland. Southland. When we were kids. Thank God social media didn't exist back then because we were there yeah. on camera. Yeah. <laughs> we started chat. Okay. Okay. People <laughs> will remember us today for sure. I was kids in the... Oh. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm still picking at the top of the ground. <laughs> uh, see? I got something. Okay. Nice you want to tell uh, some of our songs? You want to do it? The restrictive one? Mm? Mm? <laughs> <laughs> She's right. <laughs> I wrote songs from my little young po heart. <laughs> my heart was broken. Who broke her heart? <laughs> Nobody's Get out of here. Just being young and dumb. I know I don't count anybody I talked to in high school. You were yeah, you were my little friend, like my yeah, little friend. friend. Now that we're, we're at that age, we understand what. Oh, you're your little friend. friend. Your little friend. Oh my gosh. Cool. That was really good, guys. Oh, I wish you guys could smell and taste this right now. Just, just well, drink it. Yeah. Okay. Just, there you just go. Imagine. Believe it through the lens. It's buttery. <laughs> and dark. I mean, look, we cleaned our place. We brought it. I well, tried to. We tried to clean our place, <laughs> but to clean my plate. our eyes were really hungry too because this <laughs> looks so eyes good. Bigger than my family yes. family. Well, thank you so much, Jess, for Welcome. being a part of my video. Thank you guys for joining me here in my home. Sis can get down. We're about to get up in the kitchen again. But thank you guys so much for joining us and getting to know how me and my sister met. Yeah. So this is how you make crab boil. It is simple. And if you guys have your own recipes, comment down below and let us know. Yeah, right? let us know. That's what this There's something we can do differently. Okay. Well, you guys know what to do. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Also, subscribe.
subscribe to my channel, guys, especially if you want to see more videos like these on how to cook foreign dishes. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey, before you go, did you hear that I'm doing a giveaway? I'm giving away a custom cutting board and $100 to a lucky winner when I get 300 subscribers. Go to my Instagram, Chop It Up With Charity, and see how you can qualify for the giveaway. Also, follow me on Facebook and Instagram so you can be up to date on future giveaways or just be up to date with me. Good luck. Hope to see you then.